Unlike hurricanes, blizzards, or heat waves, there's no way to predict earthquakes. They just suddenly happen. Once one occurs, there are early warning systems that could give people miles away a few seconds notice, but could a carbon fiber material be used to better protect the buildings they're in? Here's some research from Japan where earthquakes are common. This is the Zenkoji Temple in the city of Nagano. It's one of the oldest and most important in all of Japan, and it's under the constant threat of earthquakes. And this is the story of how a monk, <laughs> an architect, and a mystery material could help save it. Here's our monk, Suryo Wakaomi, and he can get the story started. The worry is that one of the 1,500 earthquakes that hits Japan each year could destroy all that history in an instant. And that's where this comes in, a carbon fiber rod that was made by Komatsu Siren, a material research company. Here's Shizuka Haga, holding 15 meters of it. It weighs only 1.4 kilograms. The rod is made up of these thin carbon fiber strands. The strands are twisted into six tight bundles and wrapped in a special thermoplastic resin, that's the white stuff. This braiding technique is actually borrowed directly from an ancient method of braiding used in making a kimono. We made this rod and then we were like, okay, I don't know what to do with this material. So we had this connection with the um, Kuma Kengo. Enter our architect. I'm Kengo Kuma, the architect so basically in Tokyo. Kengo is designing the 2020 Olympic Stadium, and he was actually just in an earthquake. I was watching TV 2 in the morning, and suddenly an earthquake came to Tokyo. OK, Kengo, you've got this new carbon fiber rod. What was your first thought? The first thought is it, it looks weak. <laughs> but he tested it and soon realized it was just the thing he was looking for. Kengo's idea was to retrofit a building using the rods, making it, he hoped, earthquake-proof. He attached the rods to the outside of a building. He put them on the inside too. He stuck them next to the windows, through the stairwells. He strung them from the roof to the ground. Altogether, he fitted nearly 4,000 rods to grip the building to the ground. The idea being, if an earthquake causes the building to shift from left to right, the rods stretch and pull it back in the opposite direction, preventing the building from shaking itself to smithereens. Flexibility and softness is a real strongness. This was the first real-world application, and the building has not been through a major earthquake yet, but the promise of the solution proved too powerful for Suryo, our monk, to ignore. Back in Nagano, the monks have started retrofitting an ancient storage house called the Kyozo, the building right next door to the main temple. Eventually, all the temple buildings will have the rods installed on the inside, so you won't actually see them, but they'll hopefully be able to keep the temple safe from an earthquake.